Hey, how's it going? My name's Nat. Coming up on the show, a special 10-minute episode of Newsbreak. And if you like the sound of that, why don't you hit subscribe? Come on. If you've been scrolling on the interwebs today and seen some pretty unbelievable news, you want to check your calendar. Today is April 1st, better known as April Fool's Day, and companies have been pulling out all the stops to try to trick you. So, did you get sucked in? April 1st is a prankster's paradise. Nat, there's a spider on the couch! <laughs> Got ya. And while my pranks might be a little silly... One an orange. Kale, this is an apple. Some companies take their jokes pretty seriously. April Fools. <laughs> From Vegemite ice coffees to Bunnings shoes, companies around Australia have been trying to trick the internet. We've seen horses on trains and coriander on cookies, puppy fashion from Ikea, and even puppy protection from SA Police. To be fair, this actually seems like a good idea. April Fool's has been around for ages, and one theory is that it dates back about 500 years, because in some places, New Year's Day was celebrated on April 1st. But in 1582, Pope Gregory XIII changed it to January, and anyone still celebrating in April was seen as a fool. Over the years, we've seen lots of impressive pranks, but not all April Fool's Day jokes are a huge success like when Volkswagen pretended it was changing its name earlier this week, confusing its customers. But all in all, I think it's just a bit of fun. Nah, I sold your house. April Fools! Kale, this isn't what April Fools is about. April Fools isn't meant to destroy people's livelihoods. It's meant to be fun. Great news if you're in Brisbane. The three-day lockdown is over. And that's just in time for the Easter break. While lots of people will use it to get away and spend time with family, Queenslanders will still have to follow a few restrictions. People there are allowed to travel, but they'll need to wear a mask when leaving home for the next fortnight. And businesses like restaurants will open up again, but with some tighter restrictions about seating. And dancing won't be allowed. We've already told you you won't be getting a COVID vaccine if you're not over 16, but that might be about to change. Vaccine maker Pfizer says they've been testing it and theirs is completely effective in young teens between 12 and 15. Now they're trying to get approval from regulators in America and Europe so it can be officially rolled out for kids over 12. If you live in one of these states, get ready to put your clocks backwards because this Sunday is the end of daylight saving time. Where is everyone? Why are all the lights off? Yep, it's that time of the year again, the end of daylight saving, where a bunch of people, like me, forget to put their clocks backwards. Daylight saving happens between the first Sunday in October and the first Sunday in April. Time gets pushed forward an hour to give people more light in the evening in the warmer months. But where did it all come from? The modern idea of daylight saving time was formally suggested by this guy in 1895 because he wanted more time during the afternoons to collect bugs. That's not a joke. Since then, about 70 countries have adopted daylight saving time, but there are still heaps of places that don't think it's a good idea. Even in Australia, a bunch of states refuse to change their clocks. While many love having the extra daylight in the evenings to collect bugs and do other fun stuff outside, some dislike it because they say it messes up their sleeping patterns. Or they're worried about their cows freaking out about being milked at different times. Or they just don't see the point. But if you are in one of those states where daylight saving time is a thing, don't forget to change your clocks and give yourself an extra hour of sleep. Where are you going? Oh. At this point in the show, we usually show you three fun and exciting clips that are all tied together in a fairly vague way. But today's clip is so good, we've just got the one. And no, this isn't just some sort of unimaginative prank. Adventurer Annie Ol Sarah Sol says has proved all you need to get down the top of an enormous snowy mountain in Chile is a kayak. He steered his way down the 25 kilometre long stretch at speeds of up to 100 k's per hour. But it didn't stop there. After this journey through a forest, the Spanish kayaker took on some rapids before landing a world first, a double kick flip down a waterfall. 
don't go anywhere because next up we've got five more minutes in this special edition of BCN Newsbreak. Matt, look, it says gullible on the roof. Yeah, Kale, I'm sure it does. It actually does. Kale, I get it. It's April Fool's and you want to prank me, all right? But you made my life really difficult today and I'm just trying to present the show. Okay, I'm sorry. <clears throat> That's all the news we've got for you now. In the meantime, feel free to head along to our website. We Matt, look! It's the Easter Bunny on a unicycle! Kale, enough. That's all from us this week. Have a great Easter, and we'll see you again on Tuesday. Bye. on a unicycle. Kale, enough. I sold your house. <laughs> April Fools. <laughs> Kale, you, this isn't April Fools. April Fools is like meant to be fun. This isn't fun. On an orange. April Fools.